Hi. Do you want to know something that keeps me up at night? All right, so there's a person and they've recently discovered a passing curiosity about fountain pens, right? And they come across coolaypens.com and they find their first fountain pen. They're getting excited. So they go look for some ink and they see that there are over 700 different colors and then they run. Never to know the magical delight of the fountain pen adventure that never was. So today, I'm going to list our top selling fountain pen inks, specifically our top two for every brand so that I can sleep soundly knowing that there's a video out there that essentially says, hey, 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 don't run away. You can start here. Starting with Aurora. Well, this one's kind of weird because we only carry two colors, but I did keep it on the list though because Aurora Black isn't just the more popular between Aurora Black and Aurora Blue Black, I mean, which it is, but it is popular on its own and it's been that way for quite a long time. It's just a good solid black. Colorverse Quasar is our best selling ink from that brand, a gorgeous blue with a bit of red sheen. It's been twice as popular as the runner up, which is Colorverse Andromeda. I've actually never inked up that color, but uh, it's on my list now. I think it looks really cool. Diatrementus Document Inks are a popular subgenre within this brand since they're super water resistant and they're great for a variety of different artistic applications. So it should be no surprise here that Document Black is the most popular. However, Alexander Hamilton isn't far behind. Man, the man is nonstop. Diamine is bringing us a very close call on this list. So Diamine Polar Glow has it officially though, surprisingly edging out the ever popular Diamine Oxblood by just a few sales, both great colors. Diamine's always been known uh, for having been able to make great sheeny blues and their reds are always a solid choice. With Ferris Wheel Press, in recent history, 2022's Roaring Patina Black had been the most popular. However, that ink has since been replaced by 2023's The Fluttering Heart. So time will tell there. Second place would go to Blushing Mushroom, but that's not available any longer either. Basically with this brand, the new limited edition inks are always going to be the most popular. So go to Ferris Wheel Press on their website, sort by new, and there you go. That's the most popular ink there. The most popular ink within the Erbon brand really surprised me. Lee de Tay. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a great color. I just didn't expect it. A light brown outselling the classic uh, Poussière de Lune. I mean, yeah, that one came in second. Not surprisingly, it's always a staple. As far as Jacques Herbon goes, do I even need to say it? I mean, Emerald of Chavour outsold all of the others by far. Uh, maybe even all of them combined. It's the champ. Honestly, second place doesn't even matter here. This ink is so far ahead of the others. Technically, Vert Atlantide was the runner up, but it was way, 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 way back there. I mentioned Erbon inks and Jacques Erbon inks. They are the same brand technically, but Jacques Erbon is their premium label. And inside of that, they have kind of, you know, they're more um, exciting, fancy inks. Another total blowout was the delightful Lamy Azurite. Immensely more popular than the other Lamy inks, and for good reason, I'd say a stunning royal purple with a green gold sheen. It's a good one. Following up in this case was Lamy Perido. In the Monteverde camp, the tent pole ink happens to be California teal lately. A very pretty color for sure. And what's even more impressive is that it's become more desirable than the popular Horizon Blue, which is also an excellent choice. Noodler's Southwest Sunset has been on top of this brand for a very, very long time. And I'm finding it hard to believe that another ink could come along and dethrone it. Something that I will say for Noodler's Black though, the second most popular Noodler's ink, um, for a long time, that has just been a utilitarian black ink for many writers out there. Okay, no surprises here. Organic Studio, Nitrogen. It's difficult, it's frustrating, and people don't seem to care. It's a fun ink, but definitely high maintenance. Uh, for that matter, so is the second place bestseller, Henry David Thoreau. But hey, that's what Organic Studio does best. Embrace it or look for a different brand. <laughs> Pelican. So last year, Pelican Edelstein Golden Barrel was definitely the most popular color, but it's gone now. So Edelstein Appetite is the most popular Pelican ink that 
you can actually buy. Okay, time for pilot inks. Hiroshizuku Kanpeki shouldn't raise any eyebrows as it has long time been the most popular within this line and a favorite all around ink for a long, long time. It's a terrific ink, both in terms of color and performance. But I will also say the same thing about Hiroshizuku Yamabudo, which is the second most sold color here. By far, Platinum Carbon Black is the most popular ink being offered by Platinum. It's also considered by many to be the best permanent black fountain pen ink out there. It's super water resistant and will likely remain popular for years to come. Far below in distant second place is Platinum Lavender Black. Jumping over to Private Reserve inks, I found that Tanzanite is taking the top spot here. You can't go wrong with that. Now, and then also seeing that now, I feel like I've been looking past it for some reason and I gotta fix that. Anyway, one of my personal favorites, Private Reserve Avocado wins the silver medal for this brand. Robert Oster, Fire and Ice, claims the trophy for best selling here. It has a seriously beautiful shade and it looks good on any type of paper. Great name too, let's be honest. Um, our Robert Oster runner up for today is the sparkly and fabulous Rose Gold Antigua. Roarer and Cleaner very rarely add new colors to their library. So when I say that Alt Goldgrun is their best selling ink currently, it's also very likely that it's their best selling forever <laughs> ink. Helianthus is the other top ink here, which an olive and a yellow. That gets me curious. Are you curious about that? I mean, that's kind of fun. The two most popular inks from Sailor really speak volumes about which shades this brand does well. Both inks reside within their Manyo line. First place going to Haha, and the second place going to Neko Yanagi. Both feature the dual shading or chroma shading look that Sailor has recently popularized, so either of these are a super fun option. While Twisby doesn't offer a huge line of inks, their black ink is by far the most popular, followed by blue black. So there you go, that's our list. Now, since these are based on popularity, ink sample popularity specifically, things can and will shift a bit, but all of these colors have reached some degree of peak popularity for various reasons, so you might wanna try checking some of them out to see for yourself. If you'd like to try any of the colors I mentioned without committing to a full bottle, we have two mil ink samples available, which is just a little bottle with a little bit of ink, and it'll last you at least a converter full usually, and then some, so it's a great way to give these a shot at an affordable price. Thanks so much, have fun, right on.